In the next animation, we are going to be doing something similar as we did in the simulation right here. But, of course, we're going to be using the animation, which is easier. We don't need to add the streams, blocks, and ensure the compositions. We just need to uh, move and scroll the numbers, and then we will see. Okay, so here it goes. The flash distillation cascade for ethyl acetate and ethanol. Okay. So first things first, well, unfortunately, we don't have a single flash, but let's say that we start with 30% of ethyl acetate and ethanol. Remember, ethanol is polar, so most likely it's going to be the uh, high smell, uh, boiling point. So this is ethanol and this is ethyl acetate. Let's see what happens as, okay, is the buffer, okay, no, forget this. Let's see what happens when we add one extra flash run from 30%, 39%, 42%. We add extra 45%. So as you can see, 47, 8, 50, the more we add, the more purity we get on the top. And the same is true for the bottoms. As you see, we start with 90%. Rapidly we go 14, 10, 6, 1, 9. So for definition, I would say this is already pure on this material. Now the problem here will be to try to maximize this composition and this composition. So let's see how it goes. It's not that sensible. So yeah. Okay, no, not working. So when you have a high amount, it's easier to do so. Yes, much better. So I'm trying to... Wow, actually the best case scenario will be this one in which we get 97% here and 91% here. I want you to play with these numbers and try to understand what are they. And more importantly, guys, you need to analyze all these arrows. What are they? Are they vapors, liquids? Are they getting lost? Are they getting recycled? What are they doing? And this is nothing more but the compositions we are playing with. Uh, you can assume a isothermal temperature will not change that much. What I want to focus, uh, what I want you to do is focus on the ethyl acetate composition, and in this uh, stripping section as well. Okay, to so see how they interact and change, and more importantly, see how they interact in the flashing systems. So another thing here is that, yes, unfortunately, we have a flashing system. So that's why having more stages will not simply fix the problem here. Actually, you can see whenever we achieve a 70%, yeah, 70%, okay, no. Yeah, whenever you achieve this 70%, you are going to see that actually you will not purify this material. You will be uh, once again going to equilibrium. So this is one isotrop. We are going to see those much later on. Actually, in this course, it's not uh, the scope, but important to identify isotropes, I think, is one of the most important parts because isotrop can waste a lot of time if you don't know if you have them in your system or if you don't know how to treat them.